Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video we will whip up 5 amazing slime DIYs with different textures, cool colors and special effects. So let's get started. Green screen slime. Okay, so first of all you need to make the green slime. Now this, your slime has to be green, otherwise this will actually not work. Because it's the technical stuff that you have to do to make the green screen slime effect. Okay, so you do need a good quality clear PVA glue. You will need some food colors. I am using a gel based food color and then you will need a slime activator. In my case I'm using borax solution. So I've added the glue and food color together, mixed it very well and then added the slime activator, the borax solution. Mix that very well and you have your slime. Okay after the slime is done uh, this that's all. Just play with your green slime. So all the effects that you will actually put on your slime will be done um, in editing. So the effects I'm using in the green screen slime is a holographic background wallpaper. I have credited the link, it's in the description box below, you can check it out there. Additionally, I have used my face and I have placed it against the holographic background. Now I did that now I did that in Photoshop. If you want a very detailed tutorial on how to make green screen slime, please let me know in the comments down below and inshallah I will do a detailed video separately only about green screen slime. The green slime I'm playing with right now has a lot of air bubbles in it. If you let the slime rest in a container for a few days, all the bubbles will rise to the surface and it will leave behind a bubbleless, crystal clear green slime. And the slime is still slightly sticky for me because it's sticking to my hands and anywhere you will get the green slime you will also see the effect okay just kneading is the important part of the process make sure your slime is not really sticky I feel like my slime ended up kind of slightly sticky because it's sticking to my hands but I will opt out of adding more slime activator because I'm hoping the slime will sort that out by itself poop emoji clay slime so what you're seeing right now right in front of you is a mini prank squirt spray water toilet tricky toilet seat funny gifts jokes toys anti-stress gags joke toy for kids funny play game interesting kids toy <laughs> okay so what you gotta do is you have to fill now this is a prank product you have to fill this toilet seat with water now it's a very funny whole body water spray item okay as long as you place it on the table naturally there will be curious people to open the toilet lid to see what happens so once they open that the toilet will spray their face with water so funny so you can see when you open the toilet seat you get sprayed with water let me show you again The shooting range of the water from the pink poop in this toilet is pretty good. Okay, so why did I actually buy this? I was so distracted because I was enjoying the prank part of this toy, but I actually bought it because we're going to be making what? Poop emoji clay slime. So I'm reusing slime that I made for the hot chocolate slime video. I am going to be using that batch because I have a lot of it. I'm going to be turning that into the poop emoji clay slime. So just shape it up like a swirl of brown poop. It's shaped like a soft serve ice cream, right? Now I'm going to be adding the eyes because that's what the poop emoji has, the large excited eyes. If you want to keep that shape, that gorgeous shape of the poop emoji, then you can use clay, uh, clay slime. It's going to hold the shape much better. Just perfecting the peak at the top. And we're going to squish it. Squish. On to the next slime DIY. Magnetic Monster Slime. Okay, so I'm going to be using iron, iron filings. filings. It's filings, not fillings. Now these are very small pieces of iron that look like light powder. They are often used in science demonstrations to show the direction of magnetic fields. You can easily get these in any stationery shop. So to the iron filings, I'm going to be adding slime that I've already made in a previous video as well. Just add it. Make sure the slime is fully covered and has fully taken all the iron filings. Who remembers these? These are rattle magnets. You throw them in the air and then they just make this very satisfying zing noise as they clash together. Okay, so these rattle magnets are made from a naturally occurring metal called hematite, which is highly polished and highly magnetized to create their addictive properties. 
magnets. So this is what the slime monster is gonna be eating. Magnetic slime has iron in it and it is attracted to a strong magnet. It is super stretchy and so much fun when you hold a magnet near the slime. Now when you place the magnet on the slime, it oozes towards it and the slime will swallow up the magnet if you let it go. It is super, super cool because it actually looks like a magnetic monster slime. Okay, do not make a large batch of this type of magnetic slime. Why? Okay, let me give you an equation. Magnets plus water equals to what? Excellent, you guys are so smart. It is rust. The rust will appear only in a few days. I don't want you to waste all of your other ingredients to make this huge batch of magnetic slime. Mind you, magnetic slime is really awesome, but it has a very short life. Always make fresh, small batches. Gold and Silver Foil Slimes I am going to be reusing a slime that I've already made in a previous video. It is the purple fluffy slime. Time for ASMR. So I'm using gold leaf, which is available in a wide variety of carrots and shades. Now layering gold leaf over a surface is called gold leafing or gilding. I'm reusing an old slime so it has lost its fluffiness. Stretches very well with specks of gold in it. Now I'm adding silver foil. ASMR time. You can find the edible and non-edible types of these foils in the market. Whatever you can find, it will work either way. Stretch is great, but it has really lost its fluffiness. Loom Rubber Band Slime Just make clear slime. It is not clear right now. It is very cloudy because I just made it. If you leave it in a container for a few days, it's gonna turn clear, okay? Remember this craze? It is the colorful rubber and plastic bands that were made into decorative items such as bracelets and charms. I am just gonna add this into the clear slime. Loom band slime is so fun and so crunchy, okay. Now the loom bands are super lightweight, easily push into slime can be seen in the clear slime. If you're using white slime, it also looks good in that and it has a very delightful feel as you crunch the rubber bands in your hand. The slime that I have made is still very sticky. I want the slime to be sticky because otherwise the colorful loom bands will not stick to the slime and it will be a huge disaster. 
Now this type of stretchy slime, you can do a lot of things. You can make slime falls. Uh, just use the edge of a counter, back of a chair, or even an arm to let slime slowly ooze down. You can wash these and these are absolutely mesmerizing, especially with the colorful rubber bands in them. If you've ever made slime, try to make the slime this way. It's super ooey and gooey and extremely fun to play with. Before stretching, just add in those beautiful, colorful rainbow rubber bands and we get to have some good old-fashioned sensory play. Everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!